Confessions of a TV journalist and John Scott right there, Martha, huh? <laughs> that one. There is a follow-up to that story, Mr. Scott. Exactly what uh, happened. There is a potential new health scare that could threaten your children. Makers of children's jewelry out of China uh, now using cadmium in production. We're told you can find it in items like this. Disney uh, Princess and the Frog, a pendant on screen here, and other toys for kids. From the Fox Medical A-Team, Dr. Mark Siegel now with me. Good morning to you, Doc. Good morning, Bill. Cadmium Bill. is what? Cadmium is a very soft compound. It's like lead. It's found in the earth. It's easy to work with. So the problem is, back in 2008, Congress said you can't put lead in any more of these toys. So Chinese manufacturers have been slipping cadmium in. Cadmium so is, cadmium then replaced the lead and they continue to make the product. But I got to tell you, Bill, this is a big story and I'll tell you why. Mm. I looked at this first and I thought, here's another story about trace elements, you know, something that's been added, a little bit of this tiny risk. This is a big risk. Cadmium is 10 times more toxic than lead or mercury. We spend so much time worrying about mercury. Cadmium is 10 times more toxic. It can cause brittle bones. It can, it can hurt your kidneys. It can cause digestive problems. And the worst part, in young kids, it can cause developmental problems, problems in delay in school. This is a big, big it's, problem. It's a carcinogen. That's like a, lead, it can hinder brain development in the very young. That's, a, that's, that's right. That's right. And I'm glad you brought up the cancer risk because there's a big cancer risk with this. Now look, young kids have a charm bracelet, they suck on the charm. The World Health Organization discovered that if you suck on one of these charms over a day, you have as much cadmium you're taking in as they recommend you get in an entire year. This is a big risk. Uh, you walked in the studio and said, you know what, I was looking at this story and it's a bigger deal than I thought it was. Well, because the charms, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the charms have 80 to 90 percent cadmium. That's a lot. That's a lot. And who's regulating this? We need a new law. The, actually, the feds have a law that says you can't use it in paints. Let me explain how this is used. Please. Cadmium is, is used in industrial processes. We add it to paint. It's added to electrolytes. It's added to electroplating. It can be used for charms for plastics and metals. But the problem is it's only regulated in paints. So these guys get away with it. Of course, I've said previously the FDA doesn't have enough teeth over there in China to begin with. But we need laws to prevent these things from selling. I think this is very dangerous. Um, I'm reading it's one of the top ten hazardous substances. I mean, how would you as a parent even know that it was in the, a product you were buying for your child? That's actually the biggest problem of all. That's why I think the feds have to go after this. You know what? And, and the other problem is your kid could get exposed to this and you might not even know it. I mean, they're not doing well in school and that's all you, you figure out. Out. I mean, you may not have a problem with the kidneys. You can actually get dramatic problems like broken bones or, you, or your kid gets diarrhea, but you might not know what it is. You can go to 10 doctors, they're not going to tell you. Well, we need point. to nip yeah. this in the bud and get this and from you out find of the product. In bracelets, charm bracelets, jewelry for kids, oftentimes. The AP did a study. They took products from New York, Ohio, Texas, and California. More than 100 products. They found 12% of the pieces that they found, or tested anyway, contained this cadmium. And you know something else, Bill? What if I told you that? That zinc is almost totally safe. Would not know that. And that's what they should be using. This is another example of some toxic product being slipped into what our kids have in another country. I'm very, very concerned about this, but I don't think that, that it's a minor problem. I think it's 10 times greater problem ten than mercury. Times. I mean, all of our people out there talking about the mirasol and mercury, we should be talking about cadmium. All right, two more questions for you. Is cadmium cheaper than, say, zinc, would it be? And that's another issue. That's why they're using it. It's much cheaper than zinc. It's cheaper than lead. It's one of the cheapest substances around. It's a heavy metal, so it's very damaging to the brain and to the nerves. That's its primary problem. And that's why I said it gives kids mm. problems with thinking. We're talking about developmental brains here. These brains are in evolution. They, they don't need toxins. I see. Uh, I said two more questions. I, I apologize. It's three more. This is number two. Uh, you say we need a new law? How can we restrict what China's doing? Well, we, we need a law on our end. Just like Congress passed a law in 2008 that you're not allowed to sell products over the, over the counter that have lead in them, we need the same law to apply to cadmium. Cadmium is much more dangerous. And second point, I think the FDA has got to do more. We need to put more teeth mm -hmm. into the FDA to go over to China and look at those plants and say, what are you I putting hear your point. You Apparently, put there's a big speech by an American regulator in Hong Kong to address this very issue. Your message to parents who are watching is what? Well, my, my message to parents is not to panic. I, I'm not really saying that, that 
you're, you're likely to have had this. But if you have a charm bracelet or your kid has a charm bracelet, you should look very carefully at this and really, really track it down. The products that this is found in are now listed. You can get this on, on a federal website, on the FDA and on the other federal websites. FDA.gov? What That's is that? That's FDA.gov. Well, you can, you can track this and figure out if your kid's been exposed to it, but it's most likely if it's in a charm bracelet. That's what you would look Thank for. Thank you, Mark. Good to see you. From our Thanks, Fox Bill. medical team. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Mark Siegel. Martha? All right.